How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be talking about Paradox Rift. This set was doing pretty bad for a while, but now the top 10 cards are actually seeing a resurgence in value. So we're just going to check out how much value they are regaining. And then I'm going to try to determine if it's an underrated set, if it's a good investment, because I'm, I'm betting a lot on Paradox Rift, I will admit, but these cards are actually fantastic. And we're going to just see where the value is currently for these cards. So first off, we have the Parasol Lady, little honorable mention. It's in the number 11 spot, and it's currently selling for $15.95. Here's the last month of data right now. The all-time high was back post-released at $30.58, and it did hit an all-time low about two weeks ago, selling for $15.60, and it looks like it's starting to regain some value. So $15 for the most popular trainer card in the set not too bad right so it looks like people started buying there was a lot of sales at around $15 and the price is back up for this card so parasol lady you take the number 11 spot in the number 10 spot super sweet card it's going to be interesting to see how that Greninja EX does because Greninja might be a more popular Pokemon than Garchomp but the two of them are studs so we're going to go ahead and see how these cards do and the design and look of these cards, right? So the Garchomp EX is currently selling for $16.49. It looks like there was an all-time high for this card post-release at $30.67. And then recently, same thing. Just a couple weeks ago, almost the same day as the Parasol Lady, it started to spike up back in price. So this card is honestly really cool. I don't have it in my collection, but... It's a sweet card, and to be to be selling for fifteen dollars, it just goes to show how pop, how unpopular maybe this set has been for a while. But some of the cards, if they drop to a certain price, they're gonna start to get bought out. So really cool to see for the God Chomp. I'm really happy. It might be a good time for myself to jump on this card because it's what it's under twenty under twenty dollars. Like I might as well instead of buying five packs to try and get this card or the Roaring Moon or something. I might just have to get this card uh, on the secondary market. So good to know that currently it's regaining some value and currently selling for $16. In the number nine spot, we have, of course, the TCG is going to play a good bit in this set of Paradox Rift because this was the first set that was going to introduce those future and Paradox Pokemon, right? So all of a sudden, you know, everyone's wanting this card for their deck. It's really good with the Mariodon. And I think the Iron Crown is involved now with this deck as well. You can see there was an all-time high of $21.65 back in late January. And the card overall had an all-time low in early January at $6.16. So really interesting to see just how popular and how useful a card can be in the TCG that you know, the players are going to need it for their decks. And they're going to need multiple copies because this isn't the only Iron Hands on the top 10. There's actually three of them. So we're going to see over time, they'll probably end up dropping right out of the top 10. But currently, they're doing pretty pretty well. So if you have this card in your collection and you haven't sold it yet, it might be a good time to sell it because I even got a check for myself. Currently, this card is selling for $17.23. All-time high of $21.00. And 65 cents that would have been a good time for myself to sell it but oh well and it had an all-time low of six dollars because it's just a regular ex card in the number eight spot let's see what we got we got the professor sada's vitality pretty sweet card right showcases a few other pokemon with her and currently selling for 18 dollars and 91 cents it had an all-time high of about 30 dollars and 47 cents post release and started steadily dropping, right? And then finally hit an all-time low in January at $16.63. But ever since then, the past, uh, the whole month of March, it's been, it's been regaining some value. So that's, that's good to keep in mind. So really interesting for P Professor Sada. It looks like this is actually the most popular trainer card so far instead of the Parasol Lady. Even though the Parasol Lady is a stunning card, especially uh, in Raging Surf. All right, next we have in the number seven spot, the Altaria EX card. So just like the rest of these cards took huge losses after 
the set was released and currently selling for $21.63. $21.63. There was an all-time high for this card post-release at about actually late December of like $27 right here, right? And 55 cents. That's where I marked it. And there was an all-time low for this card at $18.61 late March. But gosh, just like the Garchomp and just like the Parasol Lady, for some reason, early April, these cards started to get bought up. So really interesting to see. Will the price stay at around $20 or is it going to drop again? We'll have to find out because it really depends on how popular the Altaria EX card is. It's funny. I actually pulled this card and uh, back then it was like a $25 card. And um, I didn't think of selling it. I, you know, sometimes you want to keep the cards you pull. And I thought it was really cool. I thought it was uh, quite nice. So I ended up keeping it. All right, in the number six spot, the card that I haven't pulled yet, I think I opened like four booster boxes and got like three golds. And I think after that, I was kind of over opening my booster boxes um, and just decided to keep the rest as a sealed investment. But let's go ahead and see how this card is doing. This card is selling currently for $23.66. It had an all-time high of $26.70. And look at it skyrocketed. Gosh, what was that? Pre-release still or upon release at forty dollars? But nonetheless, this card is selling for twenty-two dollars, or this card had an all-time low of twenty-two dollars and seventeen cents. So that's a really cheap price for the most popular illustration rare. So it looks like in March, when this set or when this card hit twenty-two dollars, it started to get slowly bought up. And so that's interesting to note because the Groudon card is really sick. Um, I got this card in a tray and then I ended up trading it to someone else kind of as a gift. Oh well. This card is sweet though. Honestly, really cool. Maybe we'll get a Kyogre. We'll have to find out. In the number 5 spot, we have the Gold Dango EX card. Really sweet card. I actually bought this card at around $28. So back here in early March. Um, at the time, I just... Wanted to see what the card looked like in hand. And uh, currently this card is selling for $25.36. This card saw an all-time high back in early March at, uh, what do I have it right here? Actually, the all-time high was $40. I think this was upon release right here in November. $42.97. And slowly over time, lost a bit of value. January wasn't doing too bad. It was still selling for around $40. And it then it then had an all time low. It looks like right here in early in late March actually twenty four dollars and seventy three cents. So it's gained about a dollar since then. But it looks like there's a significant amount of sales going on right now at around the twenty five dollar range. All right, next we have the Iron Hands EX Full Art card. Again, it's another card playable in the TCG right. Currently selling for twenty six dollars and thirty cents. Saw an all-time high back in mid-March, late March. Look at that skyrocket, though. Wow. That was quick. In a matter of two weeks, you know, everyone's trying to bling out their decks, have different copies, so it's easier to search through your deck and whatnot. So the all-time high was $27.85. The all-time low for this card was $9.34 in about January. But again, once these cards get popular, right, or once they're useful in a deck or one of the most competitive cards in a deck um it looks like they start to get popular so it's going to be really cool to see which cards um are playable in the next upcoming set of twilight masquerade and stellar miracle so it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting for not only us investors and collectors but for the tcg overall right all right in the number three stall in the number three spot we had the Iron Valiant EX card, and what a fall from grace this card has taken. It looks like it was getting bought out. Um, just once a card is valuable, loses some value, and it starts to hit a point where it's too hard to pass up on. Even me, the other day, I wanted to buy this card for like $25, and now it's at $29.07. So if you don't have the Iron Valiant and you want to get it, this might be a good time to get it. Um, we're going to see what ends up happening for this card, though. Looks like the all-time high for this card post-release was $71.21, about right here. 
took a quick fall down to I remember what what was it forty four dollars fifty five dollars late December January and um, gosh ever since then January whoo really bad for this card it lost like another thirty twenty dollars in value however it looks like it's starting to regain some value as of lately March yeah ever since March it's slowly gaining a dollar or two of value per month so we're gonna see where this card ends up later this year. By the way, I'm also going to go over Scarlet and Violet overall. I'm going to talk about overall set value. I'm going to compare each set from Scarlet and Violet. So stay tuned for that because we're going to see is Paldea the best investment or is it now Temporal Forces now that Temporal Forces is out? I know everyone's crazy about the Magikarp, but what else does the set have to, have to offer besides the three starters? Those could be popular in the future, right? Or the, what is it, the Legendary Ruin? Uh, legendary Pokemon like the Chen Pao, the Chin Yu, um, right? So we're going to see what ends up happening with that set. But personally, I think Temporal Force is a better investment. But we're going to see what happens in the future, right? All right, in the number two spot, here's that Iron Hands EX card exploding in value lately. Um, if you have it, it might be a good time to sell this card because it's really playable in the TCG and it's basically an alternate art version of the other Iron Hands cards. So pretty interesting artwork, right? A little different, but of course people are using this for their people are using this for the TCG to shuffle through their deck a lot easier to find the card they need and to go ahead and just bling it out, right? To go ahead and just flex on their opponent real quick. But anyways, this card is currently selling for $35.52. It saw an all-time all high about a, 5 days ago, 6 days ago at $37.79. And then back in January, before this card was highly playable and, and usable in the decks, it was selling for $21.05. So is that the is that going to end up being the average price for this card in the future once it's not as playable in the TCG? Maybe. We're going to have to see. But this is a brand new card pretty much, so it's going to be playable for the next two years. So we're going to see what ends up happening with this card. I think the Iron Hands EX and the Mariadon go really well together I'm hearing and then also I believe the Iron Crown is useful for this deck so we're gonna see what ends up happening all right in the number one spot we have the Roaring Moon EX card such a sad story I bought this card post release for like $85 and um, gosh it's lost $30 in value since then I bought two of them and my plan was to grade these cards but I didn't end up grading them um, maybe I should, I should still grade them, but I'm going to do that later this year. But anyways, let's look at how this card is doing. And also in March, it hit an all time low for itself at $53 and 33 cents. Stunning card. I really like all the texture going on on the card. It's pretty sick. However, look at what it's doing lately. It's doing pretty well. It looks like it's gained $5 overall in March. That's pretty good percentage wise. And so are we going to see this card climb back to $70 again? Possibly. This card is difficult to pull. I forget what the pull rates are for this card. I forget if it's 200 packs or 400 packs or 600. I think it's 600. I think that's the magic number for these secret illustration rares. And it looks like it's doing pretty well lately. So if you have this card, you know, I don't know if you want to sell it now. Depends on when you bought it, but if you're a collector or if you're looking to grade this card, this might be a good time to pick up this card and see if you can grade it and then see later down the line just how valuable this card ends up being because it honestly is really epic artwork. I really do like the card. And of course, we had since then Paldean Fates, Temporal Forces, uh, Pokemon, or what else? Are those the only two sets? So... You know, sometimes the the hype dies down for a set, but it looks like it's died down enough to where people weren't buying these cards. So, right, sellers are lowering, lowering their prices. They're trying to price, price match each other. Um, so, really interesting to see this card and just to see how it's starting to regain value. All right, next we have the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes. We have the Iron Valiant version and the Roaring Moon version. Lately in Temporal Forces, we have the Wake Walking Wake and the, what is it, the um, Iron Leaves. 
And look at this. So the Roaring Moon is selling for like $7 more than the Iron Valiant version. And they have different promos. The Iron Valiant, right, has the Iron Bundle. And then the Roaring Moon has the um, Scream Tail. I do think Temporal Forces, those ETBs have better promos. But it might be a better idea if you're looking to invest in these ETBs to get more ETBs of the popular of the more popular Pokemon. So Roaring Moon, that box is so clean, and I think it looks better than the Iron Valiant box. Sometimes you want to collect both, but if you're looking purely for an investment side, if we think about Sun and Moon and Ultra Prism, the box that has Solgaleo like fused with Necrozma is like a hundred dollars more valuable than the uh, Lunala fused with Necrozma box. So that's something to keep in mind with these ETBs that it definitely depends on the box and the artwork. That kind of is a huge selling point because it's normally like a collection piece, right? And, um, you know, you get to show it off and it looks great. So the Roaring Moon looks like is more popular than the Iron Valiant. So for an investment perspective, you might want to go ahead and look for the more popular ETBs. All right, next, let's look at the booster box. Hit an all-time low at $89.52 back in December, right, during the holidays. Gosh, this I bought some on TikTok for, like, stupid. It was, like, $70 a box almost with those deals. And currently, though, it looks like it's starting to regain some value at $96.93. So we're going to see how this set can compete with Paldea Evolved, Scarlet and Violet Bay, Obsidian Flames. Um, personally, it's my favorite set. But now I'm starting to like Temporal Forces, and I like Temporal Forces and Paradox Rift more than Paldea Evolved. But that's just me, because a lot of people like that Magikarp, and it has a ton of value, right? So maybe Paldea Evolved is going to end up being the most sought-after and most valuable set in the future. Let me know your comments below on which Scarlet and Violet set you like so far the most. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and look, right? We're going to look at the overall set. There's a little bit of differences because TCG Player is a whole different marketplace and Pokadata.io takes eBay sales and does an average. And I think it's just a little cleaner to look at. So total value is $748.86 for this set. So that could change right in the coming months. If these cards lose value, the total value will go down. If these cards gain some value, the total value uh my um my go up so it just really depends on overall how these cards are doing to bring us the total set value evolving skies has like 2400 in set value so that's crazy so it's gonna be cool to see in scarlet and violet which set ends up being the next uh evolving skies so all right so we talked about the top 10 right there let's see what else this set has though it has the Galissapod EX, $11, the Tapu Coco, $11, Steelix, $11, Domer Peko, I think I have like three of those guys, $10.64, the Sandy Shocks, $10, the Rika, $8, Tulip, $9, Mela, $9, the Magvi, $7, the Gimme Ghoul that goes with the Goldango together, $7, the Minoon, the Plusel, these cards as a match, pretty nice seven dollars so there's a whole lot of value in this set there's so many illustration rares it's kind of crazy how much illustration rares are in this set but it makes sense because it's a combination of like what two or three japanese sets uh what is it ancient roar and raging surf and that future one so really cool a lot of great cards in this set a ton of value in those illustration rares but yeah so we're going to end up finding out what ends up happening with this set overall. There's a lot of hype with the uh, Twilight Masquerade, you know. And so we're going to end up seeing which Scarlet and Violet set does the best overall. Now we're hearing that we have a Dragon set that's going to be interesting. There's going to be Stellar Miracle. So a lot of good things coming out in Pokemon. Let me know which is your favorite set in Scarlet and Violet. And I'll see you next time. Peace.